Hello Beauty News family! Welcome to Beauty News! This is the 18th of December edition. We're going to be talking about new release beauty products and maybe some updates of things. Um, before we get into it, we have some housekeeping. Yes. So, first we need to say thank you to everyone who has recently sent us packages. Yes. That's very sweet of you. A non-birthday card and a package. I want to clarify, I've been collecting mail but I didn't want to open things until Haley was yes. here. So we've done and it today. Of course we... And we've had some really fucking generous, lovely packages. Packages. So thank you, Anon. We love you. We have a package from... And uh, hope your dad stays safe. Yes. Don't injure Cheeky yourself. Dad. Cheeky, Cheeky dad. Uh, <laughs> we had a package from... Kristen. Kristen. Thank you so much, Kristen. Oh, can I smell this? Ooh. Yeah, get into it. We also had a package from Sarah. She gave me a gift voucher for me to share with Kat for a plant place. You know her too well she, and you know us too well us. because yes. I want to eat these right now. Oh, me and too. she also gave my son like Lego Duplo and it's That's the cutest so cute. thing because it's animals. Love I'm going to put that under the Christmas tree because I know you sent this ages ago, but it's nearly Christmas. Yep. Put so, it under the tree. I'm going to put it under the tree and I'm going to be like... From your friend Sarah. Oh, so thank you cute. so much. We have received them. They we did have. arrive safe. Yes. It's just been ages because we're shit. Yeah. And we were in well, lockdown for a long time. Well, also lockdown. Um, okay. Next thing. Um, awards. Awards. Beauty News Awards. So thank you to everybody who put in your nominations uh, or who suggested your nominations and for everyone who went and voted on them as well. Now is the time where you get to actually vote for your winners of each category. So it's going to be very similar to the last situation. Hit the link to the blog post and vote on those nominees. Now, you can only vote for one nominee once. Mm -hmm. So think about it before you vote. Now this year we are going for a survey hosting service that we're paying for. So hopefully it runs a bit smoother than this year. Than last, last year. Last year, sorry. Yeah. Fingers crossed. If not, I will send them a flaming gag of shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. I approve yes. of that message. Yeah. So get in soon uh, because those, uh, look, I'll put the closing time and date down in the thing because then you can check it against your time zone. It's so much easier that way. All right. So it's a fairly small episode. So don't crucify us. No, there's just not a lot out. There's not a lot. It's nearly Christmas. It is what whole. it is. Uh, holiday stuff is come and gone. And mm -hmm. besides Colourpop, not much is being released. It's true. Uh, Colourpop is technically an update because mm. we did see this big poppy palette um, launch during their Black Friday sort of bundles that they had. And now they've turned it into a collection. So mm. the big poppy palette was available separately for $14. It is still there. It's an all matte sort of orange toned palette. Um, and they've also added powder blushes, $8 each. There's two orange shades. There's lippy pencils, $6 each. There's three shades. Lippy sticks, uh, these are seven US dollars and there's three shades. And there's also the Soul Body Peach Bellini Shimmering Dry Oil, 10 US dollars. And the Fourth Ray Beauty Papaya Face Milk, which has been out before, but repackaged because why not? Uh, 14 US dollars. It's all out now and it's just orange themed, orangey brown themed. Orange stuff, orange you glad. One thing I do want to say about this collection really quickly, it looks like it's supposed to be very orange, mm, but when but you, it's brown. When you look at it compared to the orange background, it looks really brown. It's brown. I'm sure in person it looks orangey brown. Yeah. But it's like it's a brown warm... collection masking as an orange collection. I feel like this is warm toned browns or warm toned nudes and they're trying to make it look more orange than it is. Fresher than, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Um, okay, we have all of the things from e.l.f. Let's start with the Camo CC Cream. So this is out now. It comes in 20 shades. It's full coverage with a natural finish. <laughs> I hate that claim. It's yeah, so do I. Broad spectrum SPF 30 packed with skin loving ingredients and it is $14. There is also the new complexion duo brush. So this is $8 and it is 
to be the only tool that you need to apply the camo CC cream and camo concealers which were previously released. Um, so this has a large fluffy end and a small fluffy end. It's kind of like a kabuki brush full size and mini. It looks like a it looks like a blush, blush brush. brush. Yeah, I would And an eyeshadow blending brush. Yeah, I would not apply a cream product I with those personally. I genuinely question if this is dense enough to be Oh, it wouldn't be for the price, which is I wouldn't think eight dollars. So. No. Um, but you know, you do you, Elf. Yes. Um yeah. I think this is gonna be quite popular because the Elf camo concealer, I think mm. they originally released like a matte version and earlier in the year they brought out a hydrating version. Mm -hmm. Very popular concealers. Yes. Like, super popular. So, I think it's smart that they're turning it into a foundation. I don't know why they're calling it a CC cream. It makes no sense to me. Because CC... Okay. Originally when CC... Uh, no. Originally when BB creams came out years and years and years and years ago, they came out in the sort of eastern market. And they were higher coverage... Um, good for your skin and they were designed to cover breakouts blemishes. and blemishes. So yep. that's how BB creams started. When they sort of got morphed yep. through the oceans bastardized. to the bastardized <laughs> to the Western sort of world uh, and the Western brands, they sort of interpreted that as a tinted Balm, yes. like a tinted moisturizer. Yeah. Um, so which is not what they originally Which is not what it was were. originally. So because if you bought a BB cream here in Australia, it was like a tinted moisturizer. Yeah. But if you got one from like Japan or Korea, it's like a high it was coverage like thing. Full coverage, beautiful, yeah. flawless. Different. Yeah. They're different. So I understand that this is probably more like the original BB cream. Mm. Um, but the evolution of BB creams turned into CC creams, yeah. which are supposed to be color correcting. There was not much difference. Um, <laughs> it's and, just higher coverage Yeah, to cover your like redness. Yeah. So this is a little bit more higher coverage. I get it, but I don't associate CC cream with full coverage. Yeah. Don't try to bring back CC creams or BB yeah. creams. Because, just call it the camo foundation. Yeah. It doesn't need to be the CC camo it doesn't need to be the cuck no. camo. It just has to be. The fact we've been filming for a long time. We did a live chat and then we filmed another video and now we're tired. And now we're losing it. Yeah. It's hot today. It's hot. So, yeah, I think this is going to be popular. People are going to love it. I like that it's got 20 shades. We haven't seen the 20 shades, so I don't really know how good it is. But it's going to sell well. Super cheap. 14 yeah. bucks. But I just wish they called it something yeah, that wasn't I wish so they, buzzword like. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I feel I agree. like they went for the CC cream because it's like camo. CC, yeah, yeah. CC, 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 Okay, the next things that uh, Elf are releasing are the Lash It Out Loud Mascara. So this is supposed to volumize, amplify, and define your lashes. Apparently it has a molded brush that coats every lash with intense black pigment. Six bucks. Six bucks. That's a bargain. Six buck chuck. Yep. I <laughs> love one of them. <laughs> then we also have the Enhancing Lash and Brow Serum. So this is supposed to enhance your natural lash and brow hairs with the antioxidants and amino acids to create a fuller, thicker appearance for your lashes and brows for only $8. I feel like these never work unless it's that... Super oh, expensive one. Yeah, the Revita Lash. Revita Lash works. Every single other one I've tried, I'm like, snooze. But I've also heard that with those sort of Revita Lash type things, it's only temporary. Like, yeah, until you stop, if using, you stop it, using it, yeah. it's your brows and your eyelashes are going to go back to normal. Mm -hmm. So I think for eight bucks, this is not going to do much. But they're all available now. And the good thing about e.l.f. is they're all oh, vegan, cruelty-free. But I'm really sorry that's not Oh, no, it's not. Thing. There's one other thing. <laughs> Fucking... You're right! I posted about this on Instagram just last night, so I should know this. Uh, these are new shades of the No Budge Shadow Sticks. Yeah. Uh, so they've just added new shades. And there's a lot of cool tones going on here. And yeah. we just filmed a trend prediction thing. Cool tones are in, guys. They are. You've they heard are it here indeed. first. I Not do like really. these colours. Yeah, I do like I don't the want well. any of them. I don't need it, but I, I like the colours of chosen yeah so these are just adding to the range so this you know we've seen these before but there are eight new shades mm -hmm. so every everything from like gold champagnes to taupes to um sort of i don't know mauvey shades a couple of blues purple there we go very trendy oh my god my favorite brand is back at it again they've released oh. another foodie box 
So last month we saw the holiday themed one and they always... Last week. Oh, last week it was. <laughs> last week we saw the holiday themed one and now apparently they must release a chocolate factory one. Um, so this contains mostly new items. So we've got the chocolate donut palette. So there's nine shades in there and apparently this is a nude palette. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is. Yep. Like their first nude palette. It's their first nude palette. They finally did it. It's $22. Then they have the S'mores Highlight and Contour Palette, $18. Chocolate Bar Lash, $10. Choco Lash, $10. Chocolate Donut Lash, stop it, $12. The S'mores Lip Gloss, which is an existing product, that's $12. And the Hot Chocolate Lip Gloss, also $12 and existing but you can buy all that in the box for $45 or you can buy them individually like we said for those prices that we mentioned um, what some people are very excited about about this okay it's a second donut palette or third don't uh, whatever mm. donut palette um, it's the first time they've done a nude eyeshadow palette and a lot of people have been wanting to try their formula but don't want the pinks and blues and purples and random so this is their first like dip the toe yeah. the, in the water with like nude palettes and I think a lot of people are going to like seeing that because you know even though we bang on about how food palettes and stuff are really annoying and it's mm. gimmicky um I do think like food scented lip products and yeah. stuff if it if it smells nice yeah people to are be buy fair it. like if there was ever going to be something that I would want to buy it It'd would be that, be collection. that palette <laughs> And probably, because there's some nice eyeshadows there. Like, I would yep. totally wear it. And Sad thing, though, most things in these boxes yeah. aren't even permanent. So That's right. Um, I also like the lip gloss. Like, yeah, that's a permanent. Yeah, the yeah. nude lip gloss. So, yeah. you know, like, I get it. I get it. Before we continue with this week's episode, we do have some sponsors. If you struggle with off-the-shelf hair care, you might want to consider a custom option. Function of Beauty makes personalized shampoos and conditioners that are formulated just for you. And now they have even more to treat your unique needs from hair to toe. Along with hair care, they now offer customizable body wash and body lotion. Their new body wash and lotion are tailored to your skin moisture levels and other preferences. And you can pick your favorite color and fragrance just like their hair care. Function of Beauty's formulas always use clean ingredients, they're cruelty free and every bottle is individually formulated to give you what you need to look and feel your best. I've been tag teaming the hair mask and hair serum for months now while using a silicon free formula of their purple shampoo and conditioner to freshen up my brassiness that seems to creep in here and there. I've been really enjoying this little routine. Hair is feeling left clean and soft without being weighed down by heavy conditioning products. So what are you waiting for? Go to functionofbeauty.com slash beauty to take your four-part hair profile quiz and save 20% on your first order. Go to functionofbeauty.com slash beauty for 20% off and let them know that you heard about it from us. That's functionofbeauty.com slash beauty. Christmas is going to be very different this year but it doesn't mean that it can't still be special. If you've been thinking about giving someone you love a personal gift this year, you might like to consider Orate. Orate is jewelry for life in every sense of the word. Their pieces are real gold, so you can wear them anywhere, from your fanciest events to the gym. You won't have to take them off to shower or swim, and they will never turn your skin green. Orate also makes gold more accessible by selling directly to you without the middleman markup meaning you get quality metals and diamonds for a fraction of the price. And because gold never goes out of style, Orate pieces come with a lifetime warranty. Whether you're gifting jewelry this holiday season or treating yourself, you can feel good about Orate being ethically made with sustainable practices and confident that the quality will stand the test of time. I have the mini 14 karat white gold bar earrings, which I love. They're dainty, shiny, and pair with any other jewelry that I wear and never clash with outfits. They're classic little pieces that really can be worn for life and they won't break the bank. Right now you can get 15% off your first Orate purchase when you go to oratenewyork.com beauty and use promo code beauty at checkout. That's Orate, A-U-R-A-T-E, newyork.com slash beauty and use promo code beauty for 15% off. All right, we're throwing in Fenty, even though it's not in alphabetical order, because this has just been shown. I thought we'll chuck it in instead of waiting next week. Mm -hmm. um, so Fenty, they're expanding their pro filter range with the soft matte powder foundation. <laughs> How ironic now, is this? 
you won't know this until no until couple of January. weeks. But we did film just before reflecting on our prediction trend predictions of 2020 and our trend predictions for 2021. Yeah. We said powder foundation because it's easy to wear under masks. And bam, Fenty, Fenty. you've delivered. So yep. thank you for that. I'll use you as an example when I'm editing that video. Yes. Um, so this is the Stay Pressed Pro Filter Foundation, powder foundation, sorry. Uh, it's an easy to use powder foundation that lets you go from touch up to full beat uh, in a long wear, non-cakey formula to keep them pores blurred and that complexion flawless in our OG 50 shades, which is fantastic for a powder foundation good luck finding shades. a powder foundation range that has more than a dozen shades i know good, good luck, luck finding your perfect match in that because 50 that's shades that's a lot to go through but yeah that is good yeah that's so good. this is launching on the 26th of december it's mm. going to be 36 dollars which is pretty pricey for a powder foundation um but it's going to be at fenty sephora boots uh, harvey nichols this is a smart move in my opinion mm. like like i will say in that trend predictions video um powder foundation really easy to wear under a mask you can just put it on get a little bit of coverage um lightly it sounds like this one is pretty um long wearing and you can build it up to full beat without it looking cakey which i interest i don't i don't think you can do that with powder foundations that's the more you put on, the cokier it gets. And the powderier it looks. But I'm willing to, like, I want to see how this goes. Yeah. Because powder foundations, good in a pandemic. Interesting. Let's just put it out there. Yes. Okay, Hip Dot did a thing. It's called a My Chemical Romance thing. So they released a collection. It sold out, like, instantly, and people were not impressed. Yeah, because from what I heard, there was a like a mess up on the website where they said it was going to be released at a certain time, but then it wasn't actually on the website. Yeah, you if had you to search, like, search for, for it, it. Some things came up. Yeah. Um, but luckily, one thing they did do, they took pre-orders for a March release, I think. So okay, that's even good. though it did fuck up and people didn't get what they wanted when they were waiting patiently, mm. um, they were able to buy the collection and get it shipped later. So I think that's at least better than just being like, lol, sorry, sold out, yeah. see you later. Because yeah. people have gone nuts for this. I think yeah. out of all the posts on Instagram that we did over the last month, this has been the one that people have just been like... And this is another thing that we said in our trend video coming up, spoiler alert, that this is how brands would cash in. Yeah, that's how they're going to sell makeup in a in a time where people aren't really buying makeup. Yep. They're going to hit the nostalgia feels. They're going to collaborate with brands, TV shows, movies, and different properties to make you part with your money for the nostalgia feels. People didn't even look at what this makeup was. No, they're like, they I don't give, give a, fuck. a fuck. I'm a My Chemical Romance fan. OG, I want it. And I don't give it two shits what colours there, there are. And so it sold out. And um, I think the success of this is going to spark a lot of brands doing yeah. it more. Maybe. 100% it's making me yawn. Because I'm like, I, I've already gone through, like, I'm over this. I'm so over it. They won't get me with anything. You watch. I don't reckon. It would have to be the absolute pinnacle of perfection. Beauty and the Beast collection. But if they fucked up anything that was like shade related or crappy packaging, I know I would be able to go, no, I don't want it. No, I think there's a couple of things that could hit me in the nostalgia that, that I would like. If there was like a Red Dead Redemption 2 collection right, or yeah. like a Full Metal Alchemist collection, I'll be like, um, I'm taking everything and yeah. you can just go get fucked <laughs> yeah. because my bank account is gone. There's nothing yeah. in there anymore. Take my money. So I think there are a few things that I could definitely just be like, don't, don't, don't fucking care. I don't fucking Take care. It all. Take my it. money. And Give it to yeah, me. This, that worked for a lot of people. They bought it. Uh, we'll run through the collection anyway, even though it's gone. Mm. Um, but maybe it will come back. I'm not too sure. Um, so they had the three cheers for Sweet Revenge eyeshadow palette, 24 US dollars. This palette was a nine pan gray, red, black, white, and like navy. Yeah. Which, again... Not trendy. No, not it's not kind anything. of like a purple. It's an interesting color, and I trust dupe that's yeah, swatches. It does look purple. Yeah. Yes, you're right. Yeah. Um, this is something that yeah. Look, I um, actually like the palette. I like the colors. It's unless you are me, it's impossible to wear. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, you love reds and purples. I do. Yeah. Reds, silvers, purples, those browns make it so much more wearable. The only colour I struggle with is black. black. Yeah. Yeah. But I just wanted to say, even though this is not something that most people besides Hayley mm. would wear on a daily basis, this was makeup oh, that 100%. was worn 100%. during that yeah. era. Like, everyone had a black eyeshadow that yeah. they just fucking smudged Completely on their relevant. eyes. So it, again, brings back the nostalgia vibes. Yeah. The, I don't want to look at those photos because they were hideous vibes, yeah. but I'm going to buy this and reminisce. Yeah. So that's what that is. They did that well. There's also the double-ended liner, 12 US dollars, the retractable double brush, 12 US dollars, and we can get the full collection, which includes a band pin mm. for 64 US dollars. Yeah, let, we're going to see more of this. Oh yeah, 100%. This is how they'll get you. I'm waiting for a corn collection. <laughs> <laughs> this is how they will pull you out of the woodwork mm -hmm. with your squirreled away dollars during a pandemic when no one's making money. Yeah, nostalgia. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Totally mm -hmm. agree. All right. This is a Kiko Holiday Gems collection. We're not going through everything here. It's too much. There's an eyeshadow palette, face palette, single eyeshadows. There are sparkly eyeshadows. There's blush, highlighter. There's... Um, like sparkle drops for god's sake there is eye pencils mascara you've got lipsticks in every single finish you could possibly ever imagine uh you've got skincare products there are there's even body products um and i think there might be brushes in there there are so many products and they always do these massive collections and it takes us 15 minutes to talk through them and then my brain shuts down it's cute. It's festive. They've got a candy body butter. I know. Mm, it sounds interesting. It does sound good. Yeah, this is a pretty traditional Christmas collection. It's yeah. uh, usually, I think last year they went, was it red and gold? They did, yeah. This um, one looks to be green and gold. This is green and gold. So inside there's nothing particularly green and gold. It's all no. nude. Yeah. So very, very safe colours. But, um, you know, cute packaging. If you love mm. Kiko... There's plenty of stuff for you here. Absolutely. Those single eyeshadows look pretty. Yes, they do. All right, let's talk about MAC. We've got information of the Lunar New Year 2021. This is the Moon Masterpiece Collection. So this consists of a nine pan eyeshadow palette called Sea of Plenty. Uh, this is, look, it's kind of like brown, pop of blue, pop of pink. Yeah. 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 Uh, then we have the Powder Blush Duo, which is Good Health and Good Wealth. We've got the Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Double Gleam. They do this every fucking year. Fucking Double every Gleam. Every fucking year. For stop Chinese it. New Year. Every last year. Last year was Double Gleam. Yeah, they do it all the time. Fucking stop. Stop it. You're upsetting the baby. <laughs> <laughs> and the baby is Hayley. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> then we've got five powder kiss lipsticks. We've got to turn up your rack. <laughs> All right. Vibrant bright red. We've got lucky bee lady. Oh, they took this somewhere else, didn't they? This is mm. smoky brown red. We've got brick through, which is a dusty rose. We've got healthy, wealthy, and sliving. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's a spelling mistake but if it's not that's great and if it is that's great so that's a true red uh then we've got playing carp which is a vibrant orange coral then we have the versicolor lip stains these come in two shades we've got like candy which is a bright cool pink and no interruptions which is deep burgundy it does have limited edition packaging it's very bright colorful it's like, um, like a pop art -ish. It is very pop art-ish and it has a fish on the packaging. Um, Double Gleam has two goldfish that are like, or they're probably koi actually, uh, that are like embossed, not embossed. It's like a pattern in the pan. Yeah. A raised pattern. Um, and there was some people were wondering why is it, fish themed we think it's year of the ox 2021 yeah. um apparently the way you pronounce fish means it means the same as still having something left 
which is basically to wish for that every year you make more than you need, which is abundance, basically. Yep. Prosperity, abundance. So that's how it relates back to... Chinese New Year. Yes. Or Lunar New Year. Yeah, and being relevant to that. The thing... Okay, so what irks me is definitely double gleam. Yeah. We Sick don't need it. that in my life. But... The pan design oh, so cool. is awesome. The fact that it's like there's fish swimming in your highlighter, yeah. I sort of want to buy that just for I just love for it. the way it looks. What they should have done is made the fish like one orange colour, one gold, and not an overspray yeah. like all the way through. It would have been so collectible, even if the base was double clean. So they fucked up with that one because this is they cool. Always but they do. they just didn't push it through to it like year. extra cool and i don't know if there is some weird relevance to lunar new year where it's like just bring out the same old crap over and over but make it look a bit different and look yeah. cool i don't know but they like they could make millions of these if they weren't double gleam every year people would buy them just for the collectible sake of them. Uh, yeah, and if they put that extra effort of making the fish a different highlighter colour, yeah. my God, people will go nuts but for But they it. don't do it. They don't bother. They don't, that's just, lazy. It's it like lazy. they've gone to a point and then they thought, oh, we want to save our money a bit. Let's just pull back yeah. a little bit, which, fine. Um, I just want to say, like, I get the fish thing. I understand yeah. it. Like, I understand it. But I think if you were a year of the ox, very, very disappointing. Yeah. Because I feel like... What did they do for year of... The rap because I feel like they didn't really get it. No, but that. they had that sort of like um was it a dragony design or something? Yeah, it was, that's right. Yeah, it was dragon. A dragon. So again, yeah. it wasn't Year of the Rat, yeah. which is what they're carrying over fair. Mm. But I feel like if I did go ham with like the actual year's sort of animal, mm. um again, it would be a lot more relevant to yeah. a lot of people. So there we go. Well, I suppose prosperity is relevant to all people. Everyone. Yeah. But yeah. This episode is brought to you by 1010. Now you may have read about this in the New York Times or Forbes and we're excited to tell you about it. 1010 is an exclusive collection of 10 one-of-a-kind engagement rings designed by 10 of the most distinctive designers working today. Using only diamonds responsibly sourced from Botswana, 10 design masters have each produced a uniquely beautiful commitment ring launching exclusively on January 18th at Blue Nile and when they're gone, they're gone. We all know that the diamond engagement ring is iconic. It's a timeless expression of the deepest commitment between two people. And with 1010, it's been beautifully re-envisioned in the hands of 10 modern designers working exclusively with sustainably sourced diamonds. If you're making 2021 plans or on the hunt for the perfect ring to wear forever, you're definitely going to want to check this out. Again, this exciting limited edition collection of diamond engagement rings launches on January 18th and you can preview it exclusively at bluenile.com. We all shop online and I suspect many of you are just like me. When you see that little coupon or promo box at checkout, you go digging around the internet for working codes and this usually results in getting fed up and frustrated. This is where Honey comes in. It makes manually searching for coupon codes a thing of the past. Honey is a free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Honey supports over 30,000 stores online. They range from sites that have tech and gaming, popular fashion brands and even food delivery. All you do is install the browser extension and head to the website you want to shop at. When you check out, the Honey button drops down and all you have to do is click Apply Coupons. You wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons it can find for that site and if they find a working coupon, they apply it to your cart. Occasionally, I want a super lazy dinner and I tend to turn to pizza delivery for this. However, I'm not really a fan of paying full price if I can avoid it. So I tend to jump on the internet and try to find a coupon, but this is super time consuming and so annoying. Most of the codes don't even work. However, with Honey, I can go straight to the website, open up the extension, and it will show me all of the coupons available, whether it's for delivery or if I'm not as lazy as I usually am, even pick up. Makes the process so much quicker and easier, which is exactly why I wanted to order takeaway in the first place. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out on free savings. It's literally free and installs in a few seconds. 
seconds. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting beauty news. So to get Honey for free, go to joinhoney.com slash beauty news. That's joinhoney.com slash beauty news. Uh, all right, Milani have released a couple new collections. The first one is the Glow Collection. So this is supposed to be the new regime for next level glowing skin thanks to a skin quenching blend of electrolytes and coconut water. So they contains the Glow Drops Radiance Boosting Serum and the Glow Gel Cleanser. It's not even on their website yet. It's only on Ulta. It's coming to um, Target, Walmart, CVS, Walgreens and their website and Amazon. Don't forget Amazon in January. in January. So if you want this, it's there at the moment. Just a tiny bit more information from the Ulta website. So um, the Glow Drops is a serum and it essentially has hyaluronic acid, coconut water and electrolytes. So it's just supposed to be lightly coconut scented um, and it's designed for all skin types. It's just a hydrating serum. Uh, and then the cleanser, it's supposed to effectively remove makeup while washing away impurities. It's enriched with antioxidant rich vitamin C and uh, electrolytes and coconut water as well. So it's supposed to leave your skin feeling hydrated and nourished. It's supposed to be gentle and it's supposed to reveal a naturally lit from within glow somehow. They all say that and they, they never do. do. No, they never do. They never do um, that lip from within glow. I'm so sick of this I shit. know, but the cleanser is $9.99 <gasps> and the serum is $19.99. Uh, the next collection that is also at Ulta but releasing everywhere else in January, this is the Supercharged Collection. So it contains things. Citrus, ginseng, turmeric extracts and squalane. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so pretty much everything contains that. But what we have, there's a cheek and lip multi-stick. These are $8.99. They come in four different shades. There's a berry, a peach, a pink, and a brown. There's a brightening under eye tint for $8.99. It comes in three shades, pink, peach, and deep peach. Then we have the brightening face mask. The, this is $14.99. The revitalizing face mist, $9.99. And the dewy skin primer, $10.99. So they've just sort of brought out two collections with unrelated sort of stuff in it. One is coconut water and antioxidants and one is citrus, ginseng, turmeric and squalane. Mm -hmm. So there we go. Okay, this is the last thing. Whoa, and that this, was crazy. I know, I Shit. know. Whoa. This is, uh, this is from Nas. So this is, look, not a whole lot of information about this collection, but we can speculate because, hell, we can take a few minutes. So this is... Uh, basically the Claudette collection. Um, we've got the Claudette Saint Germain eyeshadow palette. This contains six shades. You've got three shimmers, three mattes. It's a limited edition eyeshadow palette and it's going to retail for 49 US dollars. This has little hearts on a black background with gold NARS lettering and gold Claudette down one side of the palette. Then we have the limited edition Claudette Blush Cheek Duo, $45. This contains two shades of matte blush for a natural looking rush of color. Now, uh, the interesting thing about this is uh, we think this might be a collection in dedication to his mother. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. And there are some images that we have of her that have a little bit of like, like I can see this fitting. I can see this being about her. Yeah, I like this. Yeah. I, I was wondering who Claudette is and I'm like, oh, it sounds it like relevant? it's a collaboration with like an editor of a yeah, magazine yeah. or something. Yeah. But if it's for his mum. I think it's for his mum. I like it. I think it's that's very really sweet. simple and cute. Um, I really like the eyeshadow palette colors. I think I like the blush colors, although it's difficult because we've got a couple of images where the blush duos look chalk and cheese. Yeah, one looks pinky Pink. mauve and one looks peachy orange. Yeah, like I don't Confused. know what this is. I would have to see it in person, but they might get me with this one simply because I like the color stories. Yeah. I'm not actually huge on the packaging of this. No, but I don't like the packaging either. You know, it is what it is. The blush duo actually has, uh, again, it's the black background with gold lettering and little red butterflies. Yeah. So. Look, I think NARS can, they can do such great graphics with their uh, sort of design. Yeah. So for me, this is a little bit of a letdown. It seems, when we see, this seems like, like long comma YSL. Like, it does, let's just chuck, yeah. 
hearts on something and make it different. Yeah. But like you, I really like the color story. I mm. like the three sort of light shimmers. I like the sort of wine color and the brown. Yeah. I like that the shimmers, the shimmer and the matte, if you look at them sort of paired, they, they create pair. a really nice they look. They pair well, yeah. Um, and I really love, if this is actually like an apricot and a peach oh, blush, I, on that. I love these tones. So... Um, only problem with NARS is they can look really orange toned in photos and you see them yes, in person and right. they translate really pink. pink. So yeah. um, I think it's cute. If it's in dedication of his mum, go your good yeah. thing. I think this is I really think sweet. it's nice. We love it's it different. when a son dedicates a collection to his mum. Yeah, that's yeah. very sweet. Yeah. yeah. Take note, son. Yes. If you ever make a makeup brand. <laughs> Correct. Correct. The time has come to dedicate this episode of Beauty News to a Beauty News VIP and this week's VIP is Sapphire. <laughs> thank you Sapphire for supporting Beauty News very recently. Yeah. And thank you to everyone who supports Beauty News in whichever way you choose to do so. Kat, what is our emoji of the week? Just before we get on to that. Spirit fingers. Um, <laughs> I do want to say... Thank you for joining us in the live chat, oh, Sapphire. Yes. And also, happy birthday for earlier oh, in the week. Oh, happy 21. birthday. Yay. So, this episode goes out to you. It's a short one. Sorry, but we love you nonetheless. We can't control how much news there is or isn't. I can't make it up. It's not our fault. I can't make it up. No, I can't make it up. It is what it is. Yes. But emoji is going to be Dead Roses for the My Chemical Romance collection. Because yes. that is definitely the most popular collection of the week and, and possibly month so far. Yes. People have gone Potentially nuts for a year. <laughs> well, I've blanked out this year. It's going to be very interesting doing the Beauty News Awards, which we will film next, next week, week and it'll yep. go up in January. Correct. So usually we try to do heaps of content in December. Hasn't happened this year. It's nope. not going to happen this year. So uh, that will go up in January. So make sure you do go and vote. Yes. Um, and then we'll announce the winners. We'll be surprised because we won't know until the day of filming Correct. what the winners are going to be. Um, but it's going to be a nice trip down memory lane because I literally blanked out this year. Me too. Was not present. I was DIYing shit in my house. She was cultivating plants. I was actually. <laughs> I have a small jungle in my house. She does. She okay. definitely does. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. It is. It's it's extreme. Jungle. <laughs> I went past a um a plant shop with my mum the other day, and I said, "See that? That's like Haley's bedroom." <laughs> and she's like, "Really?" And I'm like, "Yes." yes. <laughs> like, yes. no shitting you. Yes. So, yeah. Yes. All right, guys. We hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and we will see you in the next one next week for Christmas. Woo! Ooh! <laughs> That's right. <laughs> The episode is going to fall on Christmas Day in Australia. And we are going to upload it we on are. Christmas. We're still going we to do are. it. It's going up on Christmas Day for all our Aussies and Christmas Eve for everyone else in the world. The behind people. The Not New Zealanders. People. You're in no, front of us. No, you're in front of us. You are indeed. You future people. I you. know. I know. Tell us the secrets. Is it better there? We yeah, know it's it better there. We know it's better there. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to tell us that. No. <laughs> we don't. Alright, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.